What's up guys, hot noob here. Um, just a quick little homestead update or whatever. So um, let's flip this camera. Um, oh, fingers in the way. All right, so I've got some windmills, or sorry, wind turbines up. Um, kind of a pain. Uh, notice the one on the right from the last video is actually um, all the way up 20 feet, but um, I was hoping the connector would be able to handle it, but it didn't, so that fell. Um, broke one turbine, but uh, I got another one. They're, these ones are pretty cheap. They're about um, 200 bucks a pop, uh, 400 watts each. And um, yeah, I uh, had them about 14 feet above the ground right now. So um, definitely not nearly as much wind as if it were up like 20 feet up or so, because there's trees all around or whatever. So, um, but hopefully I get enough. And, uh, yeah, so in terms of costs for the, if you exclude the experimentation, um, these poles were, uh, like 50 bucks each, and then from some iron, so, or some steel, um, so that would have been like $15 for the steel or so around there. Um, and then the wiring, probably about $30 of wire or so. Um, for wiring, I just used normal um, electrical wiring doesn't really need to be like this high grade but it's what it had on hand so um and then the turbines are three phase ac um low voltage so it's 12 volts per phase more or less and um yeah so i had to run two wires up each full so that increased the cost of the wiring and then it just comes to these uh, cheap looking charging controllers, which hook up to the battery. So I have two of them. Um, the turbines are 24 volt. So I need two minimum to operate. I also um, have a battery here just in case one of them goes down. So then I'll have a way of using one turbine by hooking it up to a battery and then to an inverter and then sending it across over here because I got enough wires going. So I got three wires going. Um, one comes back with electricity from here, where it goes in. And then the two wires hook up to the battery here. Okay. So I just got them on the two bottom batteries there. Um, so the way it hooks up is um, there's two batteries in series per turbine or per charge controller and then add it up that goes to 48 volt now these are flooded lead acid batteries so they're not so touchy about um about uneven uh cell voltages or battery voltages and uh there's two charge controllers so in theory uh the batteries can become unbalanced but um when the batteries reach a more full state they'll rebalance themselves because the charge controller will cut it off when it when it gets too high of a voltage so we'll see how that works in practice um yeah i still gotta find some time to clean or get the wheel to clean it's kind of it's been a lot of thinking So, uh, yeah, so hopefully that'll generate enough electricity for in the wintertime so that I'll be able to supplement the coop in case it gets too cold. And uh, worst case, I'll be sitting in the coop with a propane heater and uh, you'll see how that goes. Um, probably throw some bricks in there for thermal mass and then got some rocks there so that would be some more thermal mass if I really had to um, sit in there during the cold days with the chickens. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, hopefully it's enough. Uh, the health of the batteries is a little bit low. Um, I'm just starting to see some sunlight now. So it's been a couple days without sun. And uh, yeah, hopefully with the, the wind turbines, that'll reduce the need for sunlight to keep the batteries in a healthy condition. So, um, 
over the next couple of weeks, hopefully get more sunlight and with the wind turbine should be able to improve the health of the batteries so that they have a larger capacity. Because right now the capacity is a little bit, um, a little bit low. And then uh, the inverters themselves use about, um, both of them combined use the constant 200 watts while it's running. So um, over a day, that's about two or three kilowatts of power usage from the batteries just for running the inverters itself. And then that's um, that's about one battery bank worth of uh, power just for the inverters. Um, so I'm kind of kind of pushing it with the batteries, anyway. So um, I'm still contemplating about getting four more batteries while I still can. Um, so we'll see. Uh, looks like my phone's about to die. So anywho, this is Hot New Beer. Please subscribe.